Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to protect your entire vehicle from an EMP. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'd like to ask that if you enjoy our content here at the Prescott Caliber Club, please share our videos to your social media pages. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell icon. That'll help us get a lot of traction here. So what I wanted to do in today's video actually is show you guys how to protect your vehicle from an EMP. An EMP is an electromagnetic pulse. These can occur naturally. They can be man-made via um, you know, nuclear nuclear blast up in the atmosphere, something like that. And when an EMP hits, basically all your electronics, anything that's got wiring, uh, computer chips, circuitry in it, will all will all um, take too much of a charge. It's very similar to a lightning strike and a surge protector. The uh, the big issue, and, and and up until now actually, the main solution has been Faraday cages. But the big issue is um, your your stuff isn't just going to be sitting in a protected you know, can, jar, or Faraday cage, or whatever at all times. That's just not how most people are, you know. We have our stuff, we're using it, and, and we'd like to also protect it. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is I'm going to unbox my EMP shield purchase. Now, I've purchased a number of these because I wanna do some testing and some installs. Um, I wanna put them in my home, in my RV, in my vehicles, in my bug out vehicles, in my motorcycle, just a number of different things. I wanna try all the installs and I wanna play with them, so that's what I'm doing. But I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to show you guys maybe how to install one in a vehicle in a truck so um i don't have a whole lot more to say about emps if you guys would like to check out uh, really really good information on electromagnetic pulses i would recommend checking out canadian preppers youtube channel uh, he's got awesome information i like uh, i like most of what he has to say what he has to offer he's very educated um, and he thinks these things through, he researches, he's a great resource, but on EMPs especially, he knows what he's talking about, so I would highly recommend you go there. But I'm not gonna waste any more time talking about EMPs, talking about all of that. What I would like to do is take you into the workshop quick. I'm gonna unbox the EMP shield, and then I'm gonna install it in my F-350. It's not going in the big truck. There is one that's going in the big truck, but uh, the big, big one is in the shop right now getting a tune-up, so. Uh, we're going to install it in the F-350, but first, let's go get it unboxed. Alright guys, now I'm going to unbox this here, and um, this, by the way, is my Medford Praetorian tie. I wasn't sure what I thought of this knife, but I love it. Um, so this is the box it came in. Chipped to me via UPS, I believe. Um, so what it's coming with, it has a thank you card, uh, EMP shield, installation instructions. I've already done some, some uh, research on that, so I'll show you guys those instructions. Though. Packing, and again, remember, I did order a number of different units. So what I got was, um, I got a couple of vehicle units. I got one for my RV. I got... Uh, one for my home and uh, I'm sorry there were three three of these were for my uh, vehicles and then one for the RV and one for the house so um, this is what they come and this is what they look like they're just bubble wrap and let's see here this is one of the uh, home units I believe So here we are. This is um, one of the auto units. It has the ring adapters. This is what it looks like. So basically the install instructions, let me read those for you real quick here. Um, oh, let's see. 
First of all, it says it needs to be installed by a licensed electrician, so we're not doing that um, because I'm not that, but I'm installing this myself. So here we go. So basically all you've got on this unit are your uh, positive, ground, and neutral. And all you're gonna be doing is running a positive to the positive lead on the battery, a neutral to the negative lead on the battery, and then a ground to the ground of the vehicle. And that's the entire install for the 12 volt EMP shield. So let's stop goofing off here. Let's go get it installed. Let's get it done. All right, guys, so here it is. The 12 volt EMP shield. Um, now the only tools that I'm really needing to accomplish this are a small set of sockets to undo my bolts on my positive, neutral, and the ground. Um, some cleaning devices, including some dialectic grease. That's always very, very good to have um, in these situations when you're working with a vehicle and battery and electronics. So, okay, the idea here is basically, we're gonna take the positive lead, which is this red one. So, red, positive, black, neutral, green is a ground. So basically the first thing it's telling you to do is locate a spot where you're gonna actually mount the EMP shield. And we're gonna have to clean a spot off somewhere in here. Do this, um, let's see what we got. And all I'm really looking for is a flat, flat surface. I could maybe use the cap, the cover of this. Um, I think that's probably what I'll end up doing is putting it right here. This is a fuse box. Um, you know, it's got a cover that, that actually comes off. So I can take that out and clean it. And I think I'll mount it right on there. I'm gonna snap a picture of the fuses though um, of that beforehand. So I've got a record of that, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let me go clean this off and then we'll go move on to the next step. Okay guys, so now we are set up here. I'm gonna mount the EMP shield onto the top of this, the unit itself. Mount back here. So we are removing the adhesive backing here. Um, once I've got that off, now I can actually take and firmly press this into place here. And that will give me my location back here where my MP shield is going to mount. Now, I'm going to disconnect my negative lead so that really renders the vehicle dead now that I'm getting into the battery area here. Let me run this back here. You wanna be careful not to pinch your wires. I mean, these cables are pretty strong, but you don't wanna fold them too much. Um, you can end up with uh, some issues, you know, if you break a cable inside of there, um, or over years, you know, you've now got a weak spot and, and that kind of stuff. So, all right, I don't think I'm gonna need all of this, so I'm just gonna leave a loop in here and I'm gonna zip tie it up at the end probably to this right here, just so I've all got it tied up. But now all I need to do is run my negative, my positive, and my ground down in here, and I will be all set to go. All right guys, so the last piece to this puzzle is back here. And now I forgot to put dialectic grease on because I was shooting video not paying enough attention. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to apply it to this one and then I'll go back later and just do those. But it's a very simple thing. Um, you just apply a liberal amount. And it's gonna keep it from corroding and gunking up. Actually, it may get a little gunk, but it'll seal it. Uh, in the gunk, if that makes sense. And then you just go ahead and tighten this all back down and we're set to go. Our EMP shield will be installed. So guys, as you can see, installing the EMP shield in your vehicle is not all that difficult. It ju it's just a few cables, a few wires, a little bit of elbow grease, and that's about all it takes to get it installed. So if you're someone who's worried about an EMP attack, um, 
I, I, it's something that I think is definitely uh, viable. I mean, even the government's looking into that, installing these same units into all of their stuff. So I, I think it's a viable threat. But um, I had a person in one of my groups, and I cannot recall for the life of me who it was, but she had a disabled kid, and she was worried about um, if, if an event were to take place, if an EMP were to hit, how is she going to go pick up her kid uh, at school? And her kid goes to a special school, it's far away, whatever. Um, so this would be a very, very awesome option for her for just a few hundred dollars. Now I know a few hundred dollars, it's not nothing, but um, when, when you're talking about keeping a vehicle safe from an EMP attack or something like that, keeping your house safe from an EMP, um, a few hundred dollars really, really isn't that big a deal, especially when we're talking about military spec equipment. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. I don't think I have anything further. So until next week, you guys stay safe and keep prepping.